This Ridley O sponsored by Keenvention Yard Info. It's a keen convention, you'll have to go. Sorry, you're interfering with the guest. Yeah, I'm still recording, by the way. Uh, and you want me to leave? Yep. Uh, all right. Uh, you're, who are you, by the way? All right, well, what I'm going to do then is leave slowly. Well, I wanted to uh, update you guys on um, uh, my arrest in New Hampshire about two years ago at the Joe Biden event. How many? Uh, two years ago. Two years ago? Yeah, I was going to say, I think that was a while ago. It was Dave. a while ago. I just wanted to make sure I knew how long. So there's a new update on it, huh? Free staters should have long memories and certain things they shouldn't let go. So what happened? First, uh, uh, tell brief, briefly tell what happened and then um, follow up with what the update is. You're going to have to leave now. Well, I am in the process of leaving now, and turn I'm around. leaving at a full mile an hour. Turn around and leave. I have to, I'm ordered to turn around? I'm asking you to turn around and leave. Is it illegal for me to face you? Yeah, for those who don't know, I was at a Joe Biden event trying to film outside the event. It was at a hotel, and I wasn't even inside the hotel, just outside interviewing state reps that were coming and going. Uh, I didn't really think I'd get a picture of Joe Biden, but if, you know, if the limo drove by, I was going to get a picture of that, too. And I got some shots of Secret Service and stuff like that. And after I'd done about four interviews... And you are a journalist, really by the way. You have the popular YouTube channel, Ridley Report, just in case anybody doesn't know. That's right. I should have fully identified myself. <laughs> and um, uh, beyond but, that, prior to the Ridley Report, you did um, you know, real you know, photojournalism for sort of big-time Boston station, right? Uh, it was uh, video editing, and uh, before that, I was a photojournalist. All right. Other so, Dave, what has happened? To, uh, sort of an update uh, on this arrest. But yeah, I, I, I was just filming, and uh, of course, you know, I film whatever's interesting that happens in front of me, and there's happened to be Secret Service people wandering around, so I took the pictures of them. They didn't like that, and they contacted the uh, Nashville Police Department uh, that was also there and talked to the hotel, you know, uh, management and so forth. And they got the you know, hotel management to come out and talk to me, basically. Okay. Uh, and then the Please hotel, leave our parking lot. Management. You're making our Secret Service friends uncomfortable. <laughs> so eventually, it took them a while to figure out what they were going to do, but eventually they did ask me to leave the, the management. And I was recording all this, and so I started leaving uh, backwards, uh, partly in protest, but mostly just because that's how you film what's coming at you, right? I mean, there was nothing... There was nothing where I was going except my car, so I wasn't going to film that direction. You know, I, I just walked backwards film, filming these cops that started pouring out of the, the building, and uh, two minutes later I was arrested, even though I was still, you know, I was constantly going to my car. And, it was, and they said that I had to tell them where my car was or I'd be arrested, basically. They didn't really even warn me, they just arrested me. Okay. Uh, but that was their thinking, is that if I wouldn't tell them exactly where my car was, then they couldn't prove that I was really leaving. So innocent, you know, or guilty until proven innocent. Let's just arrest him. You gonna give me a name? Where's your car parked? But you already asked you me that. Not said... You are not making an active attempt to go to your vehicle. Okay? How do you know? Give me your name. And give well, me your date of birth. When I get to my vehicle, is that going to be disproven? I need your name and I need your date of birth. Why do you need it? And am I required legally to give it to you? You are because you are trespassing. Who are you? Who are you? I'm asking for your name and your date okay, of birth. Okay, so it's National Police Department. Could I have your name and badge number? Detective Anderson. Okay, thanks, Mr. Anderson. I appreciate that. And your name and badge number, sir? Linehan. Sorry, yeah, I appreciate Keep that. Moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving right now. Can okay? I continue my sentence, please? Keep moving. Keep moving. Okay. Name. Now your name and date of birth. Name. Because you're being trespassed. Your well, name. I'm trying to leave. Name. name and date of birth. You're still trespassing. What's your name? What's your name? Name. Name. So name, and date of, name and date of birth, sir. Name. Name and date okay. of birth. You're under arrest. Okay. Okay? Okay. That's, yeah, that sounds like they jumped the gun. It will, I mean, you so, know, they, once, once they start, <laughs> once the authority whirlpool, the, the authority vortex uh, kicks into place, they can do anything that they want to do. Well, the people, from oh, the secret, sure, yeah. the, the people from the Secret Service had said, go assassinate that guy. Somebody from the local Nashua Police Department would have gone out and capped you in the head. Um, because well, there's, no question, there's no question I was surely being painted by a sniper at the time. I don't know where he was located. But, there's, I mean, outside a Joe Biden event about to be arrested, there's probably a sniper there. So Likely true. Um, and and uh, while they were arresting me, um, the primary arresting officer 
uh, immediately patted me down, and uh, the pat down involved like a groin grope, right? So it was like the TSA Blue Love Glove, but just at your local hotel. So that was the most egregious thing they did as part of this process. But though they didn't have, it wasn't they weren't backed into a corner in terms of arresting me. This Ridley O sponsored by Keenvention Jot Info. It's a keen convention you'll have to go. Only fifty bucks held near the peak of leaf peeping season in a place that's fascinating even without its natural beauty. The purpose is to focus discussion on New Hampshire freedom activism. November first through the third. Keenvention Jot Info. It's a keen convention you'll have to go.